Welcome to the video series, How to Build Your Food Truck with me, Frank Baltieres, where we're doing a Q&A style where I take you step by step on the steps that I did to build out rolling burritos, Big Red, and other food trailers that I've done. Typically, they've always been the same, which is a seven by 16, about six and a half uh, inside height, up to seven feet inside height, but usually it's always been seven by 16. You can do the same thing in a trailer as you can do in a regular food truck. Just so you guys know, construction is the same. It just changes just because the other one has a motor in the front, obviously like a, like a truck, and the other one you just attach it with the hitch to a pickup truck or another thing to pull it. So with that being said, let's get started right away into a Q&A because that's what we're doing now. We're answering more of the questions and answers that you guys drop in all the comments. I do appreciate each and every one of you that comments, all the subscribers, the new ones, the ones that have been here since we started building even after Rolling Burritos, which is my food truck. Thank you for all the, the shares and all the comments that you guys do. I do appreciate it. And without those comments, I wouldn't have any more videos to talk about because I'm not building another trailer. Uh, so with that being said, I did get a special package the other day. On one of my previous videos to this one, I talked about uh, adding a couple things to my food truck. As I always say, the reason I really recommend and I believe truly that you guys should learn how to build your own food truck at least the most to the most capacity that you can is because you can do things and add things down the road without having to call someone like me maybe an electrician that come install stuff so i do want to brighten up the food truck inside a little bit so i ordered these i used to use can lights and now i started using these these are four foot strip lights they're very bright uh, I'll tell you how many lumens. So they change colors. You can do 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000, which is daylight. And I'm trying to see how many lumens it has. It does not tell me, but I'll tell you this. They are pretty bright. Um, usually it tells you on here how many lumens. It tells me the color temperature, but not the lumens. Sorry, guys. So I'll probably link that in the description so you guys can find it. But what I've used before are can lights. And even though I do like can lights, ooh, this one's wet. I do like can lights. Um, these have worked out real nice in the aspect of if you put them on the on the ceiling, it actually provides support for either your stainless steel, your white aluminum, or your FRP. Whatever you do decide to use, I recommend if you want to go like the more inexpensive way to use white aluminum. And usually I find that it's the very common question that I get is where do I find my building materials? Usually I find them uh, like the stainless steel. I only use about two sheets now and I just Google metal distributors near me and then whatever pops up, I call everybody and try to get the best price. 304 mil finish is what I use. Uh, the other one, white aluminum, I get it from a place called Metal Supermarkets. So Google, again, use Google to the full advantage that you can because it'll answer a lot of your questions that you might have. And uh, look up white aluminum near me as well or white, Metal Supermarkets. That's a very frequent question that I get is where do you find your stainless steel? Where do you find your um, your cooking equipment, which is Webstrant and things like that, your white aluminum or FRP? So that's kind of that question right there. Um, another question that did come in yesterday is somebody asked me, can you add 40 pound tanks? If you see right here, I have two 30 pound tanks, propane tanks on my food truck. And I actually looked this up just to confirm that what he told me was correct. So a 40 pound propane tank, which is a lot of propane, and you can add two of them, measures 29 inches from the base to the top. So what the question was from this viewer, they wanted to know what the clearance was between my Strongberg trailer tray. And again, all these products I link in the description. And I also have a spreadsheet that I no longer get for free. I used to do it for free. Just I, I get a lot of emails because of that. I no longer give it away for free, but you can request access, and I'll tell you how. If you email me at rollingburritosfoodtruck at gmail.com, that's the only way you'll be able to get access to that. It's no longer free, just so you guys know, and you guys don't have to ask that question repeatedly. So right here, to answer that viewer's question, what is my measurement? Let's take it a little bit of an angle, but right there it measures 30 inches, 30 inches and a quarter, but if I take it right to the inside, if I take it right to the inside, it's 29 and a half inches. So if I take it right here, right where this is at, and I measure right to the top of the trailer tray, the Stromberg trailer tray, 29 and a half inches. So technically, hypothetically, 
you might be able to fit a 40 pound tank in here the only issue is going to be really tight and i'll tell you why you know you, you know what you actually can you know why so here these legs i have them sitting down all the way to the bottom uh, of this this trailer tray but you can always there's you see here there's a hole i'm assuming that you can probably lift this up maybe like an inch and then put a bolt through there that's thick enough to be able to hold the weight of the generator so to answer the viewers question is yes you can uh, put two 40 pound tanks on here according to my dimensions so that'll work perfectly for you uh, whoever you were as a viewer i did see your comment and uh, that is your answer to your question another question that i had i'm going to go inside right now and show you guys is they wanted to know a measurement from the the sink bottom to the floor to see about the water tanks i try to comment on that comment I tried to reply, but it, it was so far back in the threads, I couldn't find it, but I did see it. So let me go inside and try to answer that for you. But as I said, this is something that I'm upgrading on mine. I'm just going to add more lights to it. I'm not taking the ones off that I have. I'm just adding more lights so it's a little bit more bright in there. You guys will see right now when I go inside, I'll turn on the lights and you guys will see that it's a little bit dim inside. So let's walk inside and let me show you exactly what we have. Ah, here it is. I knew it was here because I know every every light has to have it. So it's 20 watts, 2200 lumens. That's exactly how many lumens it is. So it's about uh, 200 watts. Every thousand lumens is about a hundred watt light bulb. So it's about 200 and some um, watts that you have on here. So let's walk inside. Let me answer this other question. So as you can see here, this is what I was talking to you about the light. So I'm gonna add the four foot strip from like right here. And I'm gonna add it all the way to this side. As you can see, I use stainless steel on my hood. Sorry, on my ceiling. And I, I did it because I, when I found this stainless steel, it was super cheap. Uh, the prices don't exist anymore, but that's why I have stainless steel throughout my whole entire trailer. Do I recommend it? Probably not. It's really expensive. Nowadays, it's about 400 some dollars a sheet of stainless steel, so it gets really pricey if you were going to do the whole thing in stainless steel. But here you go, viewer, whoever you were. Thank you for your question. So I don't know if that answers what you're looking for, but from the floor to the bottom here is about 27 and a half inches. But if I go to the bottom of my three compartment sink plumbing. It measures about, about 20 and a half inches to the bottom here. These tanks is, this one's 13 inches tall and it measures in length 47 and a half inches. These I found from Class A Customs and uh, you can buy them either through Amazon, the links that I provide on all my videos, real good people. Uh, you can always call them and they'll answer your questions that you have. Um, I do get paid from uh, Amazon as an affiliate link, but it's products that I use. So everything that I link is actually something that I have used on my food truck. So I don't just recommend things that I have no use for. It's that I actually do use them. I'm actually talking about that. So another little quick electrical hack that uh, I might not mention often is this is called the Tandem Breaker. And I do link this as well in the description. And what I can do with this is instead of having a regular breaker that has just one toggle, you guys can see this one has two, this is very uh, beneficial for you when you're building out your food truck if you wanna add an extra circuit. So instead of having two circuits that you would have on the little panel that I use on this food truck that I show on previous videos, now you can actually have four circuits because you can have, they call them in tandem as you see there, so you can do one and you can do the other and then you can have two, two separate circuits with one circuit breaker. It's a little electrical hack. We use it a lot in the field as well. Ooh, talking about that last question, this is literally the last one, and I do get this question quite a bit, is do you need to pull a permit to build a food truck? And the answer is, I'm gonna answer here for us in Illinois, is specifically where I'm at in DuPage County, is they do not require you to build, sorry, to pull a permit when you're building a food truck. I do pull permits, like for me, on my electrical, business but that's a whole different animal that's actually a physical building that's an actual physical house so we do pull permits when we're doing something like that but here with us as of today in 2023 they do not require us to pull permits will that change one day maybe uh, but as of right now they do not but always call your local authority or your health department and they'll answer your question that you have if you still have a specific question on that or they don't have it on their website Make sure you give them a call. They'll answer all your questions. And then that way you can get squared away. You can do it the right way. And you can have a beautiful food truck running around making money for you and serving a lot of people. Your 
family fun uh, traditions being your food, your desserts, your um, whatever you do, your shakes, your boba teas, all that fun stuff. So again, Frank Baltiers on how to build your food truck. I answer each and every question myself. And if I do not get to your question, do not hesitate to drop it again because sometimes they get lost in all the comments. But I do appreciate each and every one of you. We're out of here to the next Q&A.